and there was a Latino guy. <laughs> she's like, she's basically saying, I I don't look, uh, I don't have a type. I judge yeah. each person individually and what they do for me mm-hmm. and uh-huh. their own individual personality. Cool. Another girl I was talking to, she has a very specific type, okay? Yeah. Or at least she says she does. And me, white boy, did not fit that type. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> Do you think that most women have a type or it's more of a personality, feel it out, vibe kind of a thing? What's your thoughts? I think most women have seasons. And what I mean by mm. that is you'll have a season in your life where you just want to feel attractive. And so mm. you'll go for the guy that makes you feel attractive. And your type will become maybe the muscle guy or the guy that, and that, that will become your type for a little while. Mm-hmm. But I think everybody at some point gets to the season of they just want to be looked after and mm-hmm. they just want to feel safe. And that's when the type might change. Yeah, that's when the type will no longer be the appearance and it will become the feeling that they provide you with. So I would say that when you see a girl who is going through all of different types of men for a while, her seasons have been changing for a little uh, while. Either she's gone traveling or this. That. It comes down to her seasons. They're changing too rapidly. And when you see another girl who has just had one particular type, if it's just one particular type for a long period of time, it's obviously not sticking. It's not mm-hmm. working. So at some stage, she'll change her type as well. But I think women's type is very much to link to their emotional state at that mm-hmm. moment in time. I know women who, once they hit 40, will want really young men. They're All of a sudden, their type will go to young boys because they want to feel desired again. Uh, so um, I feel like with women, their type is very much linked to the stage and season they're in, in the, emotionally. Seasons. Do you, do you, I love yeah, that. Go ahead. You, Sadia, I agree with you. I, I love that. I can, Look I at can... this girl bonding right now. <laughs> I love that. Well, I speak to that. Have you dealt with um, seasons? I have dealt with seasons. There was a time where I was like into one specific type and mm-hmm. then it wasn't working. So mm-hmm. and then I just kind of switched it over to like kind of what I wanted to feel, what I wanted someone to make me feel. And looks yeah. didn't really become like a top priority. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. now that I'm in the state that I am in, like looks isn't really like too much of a priority. It's more so like how somebody makes me feel. And if they're in the same direction, I want to go with like what I want in the future. Um, yeah. But I do agree. Seasons is a thing. I didn't even think about it as seasons. Yeah. But I, I, I think that up on the I, spot, by the way. From a guy's perspective, what's, what's that scene with Starsky and Hutch? He's like, you went the blonde or the brunette? He's like, dude, I'll take either one. I don't really care. <laughs> okay, I'm good with either one. But do you know I, what it is? Men just, men see the best in women and we mm. see the worst in men. So what I mean by that is yeah. men will see mm-hmm. one quality she might just have nice nails or she might just have a nice like pair of legs mm-hmm. and that's enough for them to be interested whereas for us all it takes is one quality to be bad mm-hmm. to put us off yeah. you might just have the wrong uh, nails or the wrong like uh, legs or whatever it is and we put also it's just the way men are they're so positive about yeah. women that they end up having less of uh you know a woman, uh, less yeah. seasons a woman <laughs> yeah. can can could could Eye a guy down. Oh, he's looking good. Oh, he's looks. He's clearly he's got it going on. Oh, he's looking. Ugh, look at those shoes. I'm out. <laughs> like a guy will never not sleep terrible. with a girl because yeah, of because her of shoes. Her, yeah. But Isn't I will say terrible? I will I will say this. It's very important as a guy um, to kind of have a pack mentality. Like I, it is important for a guy to be able to go out by himself and just feel comfortable by himself. Sit at a bar and just you know do you. That is very important. But that's few and far between most guys need to be able to run with a few guys and i will say that if you're going to go out with some guys it is very important for you and your bestie and your homies not to be interested in the exact type of woman okay so for instance uh i went through my blonde season up Mm. until i was like 35 and then i'm like i am out on blondes Uh. i am all in on brunettes so like for instance if sadia walked in a room right i'd be like doom boom gorgeous (laughs) brunette i'm all over it Whereas my buddy, he yeah. only talks to blondes. Mm. So if you're okay. going to run into it with like a crew of guys and you guys are going to go out and, you know, listen, let's be real here. Guys, when they go out, if they're single. Yeah, they're on the hunt. Like you're on the hunt. You're yeah. going out. I'm not saying like you're looking for sex all the time, but like you want to go out. You want to interact with women. You want to have a good time. But it's yeah. very good to have a homie that's like, OK, you got the brunette. I got the blonde. All right, I'll take the big girl. All good. No problem. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> It's very important. Do girls have that same mentality when they're going out? Let's say you and two of your girlfriends, you're going out, you're going out to dinner, and there's a, a group of men, you're like, okay, cool. 
I'll take the uh, the tall, attractive one. I'll take the short, fat, balding, rich one. He's clearly paying for everything. I'll take the muscle guy. That guy seems pretty Johnny Depp sensitive vibe. How yeah. do women operate in that context? Do you know what I would say? With men, it's far more light. If you both like the same girl and she chooses one, you can make fun of each other at the end of it and mm -hmm. she will almost enjoy the idea that there's two of you liking it and it becomes fun. And it's natural to compete and it's quite, it's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, with women, they can be the best of friends and all it takes is one man to come in between and it can ruin a relationship. I always say women are friends up until a man's involved. And that's why I think it's women are much better at being friends once they're both men married and once they're both settled and that area of life is ticked off but up until that point if they have the same type um even if it's not vocalized it creates a sense of competition but it's not joyful it's mm -hmm. not playful competition it is actually genuinely quite emotionally draining and you'll find that when women have the same type um they will naturally start to drift from each other yes. they'll start to drift from each other they won't even be able to make light out of it they'll start to drift from each other and they'll get nervous about introducing their partners to each other and it just creates an energy that's not liked. So it's always better to either have different types or be in a st different stages of your life where one is married, one is single, and so on and so forth. But all single, all with the same type, it can get a little bit messy. Hmm. Sure. You want to you want to elaborate on that, Nat? Um, I see Nat doing the. This is what they do in America. They're like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's an American thing. Nat, we really so, need to hang out. Yes, one day. I agree. I agree. We're going to do this alone this? one yes, day. We'll have a conversation. <laughs> I you smell a trip to, to Dubai. But... I smell a trip to Dubai. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Why are you agreeing so much? Um, I agree because um, she's she's right. When you have a girl, because essentially girls are looking for the outcome of you know what marriage kids family right and if there's one guy in the room and everybody's like this is the main guy this is the guy that i like i want this guy yeah we're yeah. friends but at the end of the day you're looking for what you need and you want mm -hmm. you know i think like if you're out with your best friend you guys it's gonna be like a different conversation but i feel like the bigger the group the more the girls the more they have similar qualities they like and I mean, just naturally, as a girl, you think, oh, like, she's going to try and get his attention or even like a little bit of attention that he'll give to some other girl. Like, you're already like, no, you know, like it can get very, very catty. Um, so I, I can I definitely agree with that. Okay. But I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it's no, like, let's just embrace yeah. that knowledge. Yeah. Why, why pretend it doesn't exist? Yeah. I always just say embrace that knowledge. Um, select where you go well with with what friends. There'll be some friends on a night out that you've got different kind of tapes. Like they're the ones that you go on nights out with. Right. Other friends where it's a bit different and it can risk your friendship. Maybe just go for dinners, lunches and all that stuff. You mm -hmm. just pick your poison because let's stop ignoring the facts yeah. and let's work with it. Yeah. Who's more competitive, men or women? And what? Uh, if you're going out, you say that? okay. If you're going out and you're you're there's three single women, three single men. You're all yeah. just kind of going out. You're trying to figuring it out. Who's do, who's more competitive or catty in terms? Like guys would be like, listen, bro, I kind of like this one. What about this one? This one. All right, guys will kind of establish it. And if both two guys like the same girl, it's like, all right, bro, like. Rock, paper, scissor, this thing, right? <laughs> how do girls, like, in a, in a greater level, how do yeah. women operate in that context? And who do you think is more competitive? Do you know what it is? Men are still satisfied with the second or third choice yeah. in the room. Yeah, they're still, if they go home with somebody, it, they're not thinking about the first girl that was in their mind that day. She doesn't mean anything to them. So they got what they need and so they can still leave happy. With women, we're a little bit more selective. So if we don't leave with what we like, we find a reason for it. And if we attribute that reason to a friend of ours, mm -hmm. um, we're not, we're going to, take it personal so i'd say women are far more competitive they're a bit more discreet about it we wouldn't say to each other oh you're taking this one this right. that and the other but it's definitely discreet and it builds up over a long period of time